So we touched down, we had a chance to go to Village of Hope out in a, a very, very rural part of Ghana outside of Accra. And um, you know, when you're driving there, you're kind of wondering like, wow, I wonder what this place is gonna look like, an orphanage out in the middle of the bush. You know, and then you get there and it's this unbelievable campus. It's remarkable what they're doing over there. So that was a great way to kind of you know, kick off the week. Um, you know, and then we came in, got the kids organized, managed to wrestle our gear away from customs and got everybody in. Starting the camp, the first day, you know, kids are kind of eyes wide open, but as the camp has gone on, they've really improved, and um, it, it's been really fun. It's been really fun seeing their growth. Clap it up. You know, every camp is different. You know, you never know when something's gonna just break out. Like in Senegal, we were running on the beach, and that was fantastic. This morning, we went out to the soccer pitch. You know, these are kids. You'll have impromptu dancing. Today, an impromptu dunk session broke out, and it was, it was cool. You know, we, we ended up seeing five guys, you know, two guys we saw do some stuff that we didn't know they can do. Guy threw the ball off the backboard, another guy did a windmill. So it was great. It's really fun. Just give them just kind of a base of fundamentals and then just let them go express themselves. That's, that's the funnest. That's the funnest thing to watch. In day two, we try to tailor the station so the drills and the stuff is building towards stuff that's applicable to the games. We try to break down and do the stuff that they're gonna do in their place so they can execute the stuff when they get into the games. Also day two, you always see kind of a, a calmer approach by the kids. I don't know if it's fatigue or whatever, but there's like a natural sort of calmness that sets in and guys aren't, you know, expending energy for things that don't make any sense. The execution of the game is, is much, much better. These guys have improved so much. Um, some of the kids don't have a steady diet of basketball. So when you see them get two days in a row of instruction, drills, uh, positional stations, you know, team structured coaching, I mean, it's like night and day. I mean, if we stayed for five days, they'd be completely different. I'm really, really proud of you guys. I'm, I'm being serious, I'm really proud of you guys. You know, it's special whenever you get to spend time with guys and you get to work with them and you get to see improvement, like drastic improvement. You guys worked hard, you communicated, you picked each other up, and you guys got better. You guys got better. Now I want to see how you guys handle success. Are you going to stay hungry or are you going to relax now and relax? Oh yeah, I was pretty good at camp. Those guys said I was a pretty good player. I'm, I'm good. I don't have to work. What are you going to do? 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 All right, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up.